Welcome back everybody to another video. So guys, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the official identity of Snoke revealed. So guys, this was recently revealed on a website for the Star Wars Visual Dictionary. I'll be leaving it down below if you guys want to go check out the original source and read it for yourself. Many people have made their own theories, but this one makes the most sense. So I'm going to be also reading off a few quotes, but I want to quickly put some things to rest before I get into it. No guys, Snoke is not from any of the previous movies. He's not Obi-Wan, he's not Mace Windu, he's not Emperor Palpatine, he's none of the characters from previous movies. He's a brand new character that we've never heard of before. It's quite a shocker to a lot of people that they're introducing a new enemy character or new villain in the movie, but is he truthfully considered a villain? That we'll go into in another video, but this video kind of gives a little understanding to what he actually is. So I'm going to be reading off two quotes to you guys, let's get right into it. So I can't show any pictures due to copyright reasons, but it says, and I quote, set into the floor of the Octu temple is an ancient mosaic. According to the caretakers, it is an image of the Prime Jedi, the first of the Order, in a state of meditation and balance. So guys, the Prime Jedi, the first of the Order. These were underlined on the website and I believe it is for a reason. So if you guys do not know, the Prime Jedi is most likely the first Jedi to ever have existed. Snoke was one of the first, if not the first Jedi and he is still alive. He's an ancient Jedi from the original ways of the Force, so he's seen every bit of history that happened for the Jedi over the thousands of years they have changed. Now it also says the first of the Order. We also know that Snoke's apprentice is Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren helps to lead the First Order. And lastly it states, meditation and balance. So what if Snoke is really not for good or for bad? What if he has seen both sides and has actually decided not to be a force user? What if he has decided he is done with the force, however he wishes to kind of teach his ways to the younger Padawan, to his apprentice Kylo Ren? So now moving on to the second quote and it states, Though his name is known to the galaxy and his reputation as the supreme leader of the First Order precedes him, few have ever seen Snoke in the flesh. He obscures himself with distance, being forever unreachable save for a select few who can contact him directly. Even under such circumstances, Snoke disguises his true nature. Whatever frailties have broken his body are dwarfed by the immense size at which he typically projects his form. So going back to what was originally stated, he is the prime Jedi, he is the first Jedi. Snoke is going to be a brand new character, he's no character from any of the past movies, he's not really from any of the Star Wars legends, he is in Star Wars canon, and this is showing he is the first Jedi, and Luke is going to be the last. I believe this is going to be the fight of a century, the fight of a lifetime most likely, the first Jedi versus the last Jedi. Unless Luke is not the last Jedi, and it comes down to Kylo Ren or Rey, we're just going to have to wait and see until episode 9. So if you guys have not already seen episode 8, however, I would definitely recommend seeing it. I can't wait to personally see it another time. I want to do a breakdown for you guys, a mini breakdown series of a whole bunch of events that happen in the movie. I'm going to hopefully get on top of that very, very soon. But if you guys did like the video, please be sure to drop a like down below, guys. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe. It's been Porg. Peace.